What's up guys? It is John and Kim with One Big Impact. So first of all, I would like to say welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would like to first of all say thank you, Nick Strength and Power, for always updating on us on the stuff that gets me so excited. <laughs> and sometimes it might seem like I hate you or I'm talking trash or whatever. Not necessarily. It's just that you're only you're the only valid resource out there for this type of stuff, whether it's strongman, whether it's bodybuilding. Um, and I tend to like strongman more than bodybuilding, and I tend to like um, powerlifting also more than bodybuilding. Because I think it's like a less of a vain industry. It's more like it doesn't matter what you look like. It matters what you can do. Um, so that being said, I want to make a response about Julius... Um, and his, uh, Julius Maddox and his, uh, 800 pound record, uh, attempt. Now I say attempt because, uh, that's a big deal. That's a, that's a big deal. Um, and I also would venture to say it's probably an attempt on Thor's end too, but it looks like. You know, I've seen some of uh, Julius's lifts, like when he hit 770 and 744, blah, 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 blah. He's got one side that kind of drags down and stuff like that, so that kind of worries me. But, you know, to be completely honest, the bench is a different animal. You know, think about it like this. Julius Maddox is benching 200, almost... Oh, uh, 204, 35 pounds more than I can deadlift. I can't even pull off the ground what Julius Maddox is going to bench press. And it could take me years to get there. You got to imagine like the immense amount of strength somebody has. And I think his uh, thing on, um, what is it? Unreal strength? Un uh, what is this thing? Un, un something strength. It's a really cool name though. Um, irregular strength. I think it's called irregular strength. Um, that dude's huge, man. Huge and like I'm not saying like an overweight way. It doesn't even matter. Like at that point, you know, he's really nice guy. Like I've seen a lot of his videos, and um, he seems like a really cool guy. Super chill, super nice to everybody and stuff like that. So props Julius like dude kill that shit like get your freaking number like I don't know how long it's gonna take somebody to hit that number but it's kind of like Eddie Hall on the 501 like <clears throat> how long are the 500 kilo how long does it take somebody to 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 reproduce that you know and uh that's just it's insane um I would like to say that uh Nick Strength and Power was talking about something like it's different if you're doing powerlifting versus strongman because strongman's usually done in a heat in a competition with all kinds of other people and sometimes the late weights are being lifted after blah 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 blah. Uh, that's not the case. That's not the case with the 500 pound deadlift or the 500 kilo deadlift. Um, you know that was a thing set up I believe for Giants Live and it wasn't like a thing that it was like for a bunch of people to do. Um, after a competition or anything that was literally set up I believe if I'm not mistaken specifically for that pull for that guy you know there was other people lifting and stuff like that but let's be completely honest that was just to add to the show um, it was set up for Mr. Eddie Hall to be able to do the 500 kilograms so um, first of all I would like to say Julius Maddox lifting the, doing it live stream and stuff like that. Dude, props to these two. Two, these two dudes are like, you're talking the biggest deadlifter in the world, the biggest bencher in the world. How, first of all, how did people not think it was valid or useful to do something like this and keep on site with their programs to be able to hit these numbers when all this stuff's going on with the world? And how are you going to discredit the biggest deadlifter in the planet? How are you going to discredit the biggest bencher in the planet? And here's the thing. Now that Julius is on board, 
And if I believe, like, I haven't followed Julius to the T, I'll be completely honest. I know him. I know of him. Um, I've watched a lot of his lifting and stuff like that. I've lot, watched a lot of his meets. He goes to some pretty cool meets. Um, I've seen him at, like, I think it's called Iron Wars with C.T. Fletcher and stuff like that. I've seen him, you know, on some smaller powerlifting meets and stuff like that. Some pretty extreme cool, like, meets. They look pretty neat. So I've seen him on a lot of those things, but I don't follow him for the most part. But I do remember him making some statements recently, uh, and I just, I'm a YouTuber. I follow the stuff and stuff like that. I remember seeing in his video that he was on a road to 800. Now, uh, I would assume, and obviously we know not to assume stuff or whatever, but just like Thor was on a program to be able to hit, you know, the 501, I'm in a program. I'm obviously not in the same program, but I'm doing like some 5x5s, five 531s, five five some different things like peaking programs and stuff like that. And here's the thing. My powerlifting meet was canceled, okay, because of what the world's doing. I didn't stop lifting, and that's why I'm so passionate and seeing this. Like my numbers were absolute crap. I wasn't – this is my first go-round at a powerlifting meet. Um, I started with a 300-pound squat. Like that's horrible, you know what I mean? But here's the thing. I ran a marathon, like, and I I depleted a lot of muscle and stuff like that. I ran for like seven months, and I ran a full marathon. I ran a bunch of 10Ks, a bunch of 5Ks, some half marathons. I flew to Vegas. I did that, and so I was very lacking muscle, you know, as far as density and size and stuff like that. So my squat was 300 pounds. Uh, my new max right now, a couple months in it, uh, is 415. You know, so I went up 115 pounds on my squat, which is big, big gains. Um, my, my, uh, my deadlift was 480 and I don't even think I hit it on that day. I hit it a couple weeks before the program started. So I just called it at that. I tried to hit it that day and I couldn't. So it was probably like 460. Uh, I recently got up to 565 for my deadlift, tiny bit of hitching. Um, no, there was definitely hitching. <laughs> you can probably see it on my YouTube, which means I probably could pull a clean 550. I could probably pull a clean 565 right now because that was a few weeks ago on my birthday. Um, and then my bench started at 275, 280. And bench, I got two busted shoulders. Um, so I really, really struggled to bring that up. Finally, last about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I pulled it up to 305, um, which is big for me, you know, to be honest. And I was really proud of those numbers. And why I'm mentioning that is because when you're in a program and you're following something and you say, you know what, I'm Julius or whatever, I'm going to pull that 800, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bench that 800, or I'm Thor and I'm going to deadlift, I'm going to pull that 501. Your mind is set on that, dude. Like when we should be talking trash, not even, but you, they, you would be more valid if if these guys gave up on these programs. These guys have adapted and conquered and figured out exactly how they're going to push forward and still pull those amazing weights. <laughs> Round of a freaking pause because dude, like that's what champions are made of. You adapt, you freaking maneuver around and you conquer these things and this is absolutely great. Here's the thing, understanding about these 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 situations and how they're similar and alike. Julius is not going into this bench press. I would assume he's not in a meet and it doesn't matter. There's going to be more stress from a meet. There's going to be more stress from this, more stress from that. It doesn't matter. None of that matters right now. And it shouldn't. Okay? If you want to be the all-time world record deadlifter, if you want to be the all-time world record bench press, raw bencher, you in no way, shape, or form need to be in a competition, okay? A world record is not the same as doing it at a powerlifting meet. It's not the same as doing it as a strongman competition. Okay, if somebody says I have the world's fastest quarter mile drag strip car, world's fastest, 
It does it in like five seconds. I don't even know what the hell to say. I know there's like 10 second car, eight second car. I don't know what the damn numbers are, but think about it. You got the fastest quarter mile drag strip car. You get the Guinness Book of World Records. They come out, you get judges, you get all the safety equipment, you get the doctors, you get everything in place, right? And you go down that quarter mile drag strip. Boom, light it up. Numbers are absolutely beautiful. You got a new world record. Now, how are you going to come in and say, oh no, oh no, there was nobody on the other side of the other lane of the drag strip. So you have to compete against somebody to be able to get your world record? No, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with that. Like he's pulling the most weight off the ground. He's pushing the most weight up in the air. That's it. That's it. Okay. And technically, if you want these guys to be able to do their absolute best and pull the absolute weight or push the absolute weight, you would want them in a perfect scenario. You wouldn't want them all stressed out and thinking about different things. Dude, the pressure alone from the, the scenario in which they are trying to achieve these great massive feats is enough. You don't need an extra person where they're going through flights and stuff like that. You have a very unique situation in time and history in 2020 where guys can lift half a ton off the ground, where guys can almost bench a thousand pounds with no equipment. Be thankful of, that we live in a time where we can witness these type of amazing feats of strength. Don't drag these people down. I see the Robert Oberts, the Brian Shaws, the Eddie Halls. And you know what? It kind of pisses me off that Brian Shaw is like, hey, you want to make a video blah, 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 Thor? And it's really cool that Thor does it anyway. You know, because that's what sportsmanship's about. If you guys want to bring strong men to the forefront of all the sports and you want to really accelerate this into the mainstream, dude, lift each other up. Understand that this is going to bring it and it's bringing it. It's been coming up. It's going to bring it. Think about the endorsements. Think about the money that could be made. Think about all the freaking guys that are out there talking trash that are making money off of YouTube, that are making money off of endorsements that are making money off of being sponsored by certain companies and stuff like that. There's a, a really unique situation in which many people's careers can explode, but it's not going to happen dragging each other down and being negative. Because when you do that, you make your sport look bad. Okay. I understand you get some like some of the people that are in strongman are rough around the edges. You're talking like really hardcore. There's not like, they're not like, you need to do this on Friday. And you get some beer drinking crazy ass people that are in this thing and like really having fun on Friday's nights. And the only actual objective is to be the strongest mofo in the bunch. Okay. And you, there's, that's it. That's really, that's really it. How strong are you? You know, are you stronger than the next guy? So please. Cheer on Julius. Go subscribe. I'm sure he's got a YouTube channel. I'm going to go subscribe to it today. Go cheer on Thor. Go cheer on all these people, man. Because think about the, uh, the, the, the lack of people that are able to push through these hard times. This can show us. This can give us a fighting idea. The fighting Put the fight back in us, you guys. We all need to keep fighting through this. And it's really cool, really positive, really beautiful, really amazing that these guys have stayed with their programs and really stayed on track. And they're really pushing for some crazy amazing, uh, feats of strength. You guys, like I said, please, if you're new here, check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life. Be stronger than your excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. Drink your damn water. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much. Apparently my food's done. Do you hear it? Like sizzling. See you guys later.